Hello, class. Good evening. Hello, hello. 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 Carlos. Hmm. Check your um. Hello. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello, Astrid. Hi, Sheila. Hello, guys. Linda. Good evening. How was your day, guys? Hello. Bienvenido. Ok, empezamos a proyectar en unos minutitos. Okay, guys, yeah, so we're gonna start server being late. Um, well, we have been uh, having some difficulties with the um, login. So now let's start with our session. Vamos a empezar, chicos, ahí con nuestra sesión. Sesión número tres. And I hope you're ready to start. Espero que estén listos para empezar. Okay, uh, just a reminder. Solamente hay un recordatorio, chicos. Uh, remember to keep your cameras on. Recuerden ahí que las camaritas están servidas. Um, and we're going to start with our class number three. Warming up, icebreaker, previous knowledge. We're going to have a conversation. And we have um, some pre-tasks related to gradients and occupations. Besides that, we're going to be checking yes, no questions. And um, in addition, in today's lesson, we're, be, we're going to be checking the alphabet. Okay? So that's basically what we're going to be doing today. Eso es lo que vamos a estar haciendo hoy. Vamos a hablar del alfabeto. O sea, tener ahí unas gradients, unas yes, no questions. Todo lo que hemos estado eh, viendo últimamente. So, and let's start, okay? 
So I will be able to know about the alphabet and spelling of words. So we're going to be talking about that today. I mean, it's super fácil, simple, chill. Lo que vamos a estar viendo. Um, and question, guys, how are you? So look at this. So we have some possible answers, some different answers that you can use in order to say uh, or respond to this question. How are you? For example, terrible teacher, not so great. Do you remember that? Recuerdan algunos de ellos? Terrible, not so great. So we start from the bottom to the top. Empezamos ahí desde el de, de abajo hasta arriba. Terrible, not so great. Listen, not so great. Being better. Being better, listen, being better, hanging there, hanging in there. I'm all right, I'm all right, not bad. Okay, so it's kind of neutral, right? Can't complain. Things are good, pretty good, great, couldn't be better, and fantastic. So these are responses you can use with a friend or someone that you um that you that you know, right? Okay, so let's check some of them. For example, not so great, it means that maybe you're not really a good, right? So that's uh, what we mean. Not so great, no también. Being better, being better or being better. Listen, being better, estado mejor. Um, hanging in there, yeah, kind of, right? Llevándola, pasándola, right? Hanging in there. I'm all right, I'm all right. So it, Bien, not bad, okay, can't complain, um, no me puedo quejar, and how about you guys, I can't complain, but today, <laughs> things are good, and pretty good, bastante bien, so that could be another possibility, great, couldn't be better, and fantastic, let's see, question, Amado Vidal, hello, Amado, hi, Hello, you there? Está por ahí, Amado Vidal. Hi. Yes. Amado, um, Amado, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, good. Amado, could you ask somebody else? Pregúntale a alguien más, Amado. Question, how are you? Jacqueline, how are you? Jacqueline, Jacqueline, hello, Jackie. Perdón. Eh, fantastic, thank you. Fantastic, you sure? Okay, let's see. Jackie continues. Ask somebody okay. else. Uh, how are you, Glenda? Hi, how are you, Jackie? Hi. How are you, uh, Glenda? Answer, answer great. the question. Great, 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 okay. great, great, great. Okay, Glenda, continue. Ask somebody else. Pregúntale a alguien más, Glenda. Um, how are you, Sheila? How are you? Excellent. Okay, continue, Sheila. Um. How are you, Daisy, Carolina? Uh, hello, how are you there? Okay, good, so, so, maybe. Okay, continue, Carolina. Um, how are you, Anna? Ana, hello. Ana, Ana. Perdón, no tenía activado el micrófono. Okay, no problem. How are you, Carolina? Fantastic. Pregúntale a alguien más por ahí, Ana. Um, vamos a ver. Eh, Estoy ver? durmiendo. Okay. Astrid. Hi, could be better. Couldn't be better. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. Uh -huh. Couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. No podría estar mejor, right? So couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. Okay, select somebody else, Anna. 
So the last one, ya le nos saludamos todos. Okay. Pregúntale a alguien más por ahí, Ana. How are you, Carmen María? How are you? Uh, I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Ana. Okay. Pretty good. Recuerden, uno les pregunta y ustedes van respondiendo. Y después preguntan a alguien más. Ok. Um, let's see, Carmen, select somebody else. Alguien más, Carmen. Um, I want to Brian Amilcar. Brian, ok. Brian, hello, hello, Brian. Hi. Hi, Brian. I'm pretty good. Pretty good. I'm going to tell you if I'm convinced. No sé. I don't know what's happening. Okay, we're going to check once more the pronunciation and um, keep that in mind. Terrible, not so great. Being better, hanging in there. I'm all right, not bad. Okay, can't complain. Things are good, pretty good, great, couldn't be better, couldn't. This is couldn't, couldn't be better. Fantastic teacher. Yeah, that's what we expect from you. Okay, so now we're gonna check uh, the following contractions for verb to be. We have been checking these, um, well, lately. It means yesterday and the day before yesterday. So we're gonna check a little bit more about the contraction the pronunciation for the long form and the contracted form. So listen, I am, I am a teacher. So think about some possible um, complements for this structure. I am happy, for example, I am happy. I am a doctor, I am, a, let's say sad. So let's think about your, let's think about your occupations. I am a teacher. Okay, so how about you guys? So complement that uh, structure. Let's see, Ana, Ana, mention your occupation. Mencionen alguna ocupación. So it can be any occupation. Um, a lawyer. Uh -huh. I am a lawyer. I am a lawyer. I am a lawyer. I am a lawyer. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's I am a lawyer. Okay, let's see. Somebody else. Uh, Astrid. One occupation, Astrid. Mm. Alguna ocupación. So mention any. I am a doctor. Okay. I am a doctor. I am a doctor. Okay. So full form. So can you read it again, Astrid? I am a doctor. Repeat the sentence. Just repeat the sentence. I'll repeat the name. I am a doctor. Mm -hmm. I am a doctor. I am a doctor. Yeah. I am a doctor. Yeah, I am a doctor. I am a teacher. So let me play that for you so you can listen that a little bit better. Vamos a ver, le voy a poner poniendo por ahí. Um, okay, vamos a ver si tenemos por acá la mano. Okay, so but let's continue with another one. Hector, Hector, can you uh, mention one occupation? Um, the policeman. Mm -hmm. I am. I am a um, policeman. Okay, listen. Um, um. So it's M. Okay, um, Glenda. Another one, Glenda. Mm -hmm. I am. No sé cómo le dice bombero. Fireman, fireman. 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 Okay. Fireman. Fighter. Okay. Fighter. Okay. Fighter. Okay. Fighter. Fireman. 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 Uh, any of them. Cualquiera de las dos. Okay. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Let's see. One more. Um. Let's see. Ellie. Ellie. Think about one of patient. Ellie. I am accountant. Okay, accountant. Accountant. Yes, accountant. Okay. And an accountant. Accountant. Okay, good. Yes. Let's see. Uh, the next one, we have the long form for you are in the contracting form. You are in your, your, your. 
Then we have uh, he, she, it, and is, right? Uh, he is, she is, it is. Listen, he is, she is, it is. And mm -hmm. for the contractive form, we have his, his, she's, and it's. Again, check this is a pronunciation. Acá tenemos la pronunciación. His, okay, with the Z, his. He's a teacher, he's a doctor, he's a lawyer, he's an architect, he's an accountant, he's an artist. And then you have the next one, which is she's, she's a lawyer, she's an engineer, she's an accountant, she's a fireman, she's a nurse, she's um, not a bookkeeper, she's um, an employee, and we have is. Okay, it's, it's. Then we have a we are and the contracted form. Listen to this, we're, we're. It's like you have a long E here. We're, we're, we're. Like, we're. Yeah. Yeah. Ear, ear. We're, 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 we're. Se parece bastante el sonidito, el sonidito, el, 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 como decir oreja, con este, we're. Uh, ear, ear, we're, 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 okay, we're, we're, it's a long ear, remember that, we're, we're, es la we're, I didn't pronounce it first, then you have, uh, we're going to compare that with uh, something else, lo vamos comparando ahí con algo más que es el verbo to be en pasado, um, por ejemplo, yo era o yo estaba, so for example, uh, well, in this case, you were, you were, you were a teacher, you were, look at this, were, 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 that's were, were, you were a teacher, you were a student, you were um, doctors, you were friends, you were married, you were single, not anymore, ya no, ya están solteros, okay, and then we have the double H question, were, so it's, where do you live? Where are you from? Where is she? Where is he? Uh, where is, um, let's say, where is Dollar City? Where is the, what is Metro Central? For example, where, where? And this is where, where, and where. So this is, if you notice, okay, como recuerda que les mencionaba ahí los, los puntitos, es un poquito más largo el sonido de la, where. de era, o tú eras, perdón, tú eras. You were, you were friends, you were doctors, you were married, you were single, okay? And the double H question, where are you from? Where are you from? Look, listen, where are you from? What are you from? Where are you from? Where yeah, are you from? It's, it's, it's shorter, it's más corto, okay? It's más corto. So that's the difference between these three. Esa es la diferencia entre esos tres. So let's check that again. We're, were, and were. We're, were, and were. We're, were, and were. Were, were, were. That's it. And the pronunciation, keep in mind this for he, she, it, the contractive form, it's a Z, right? He's a teacher. He's a doctor. Sorry, what do you say? I said he is a teacher. I said he is a doctor, could be, okay? He's, he's, she's, and is. Uh -huh. Okay, so esta es la parte, chicos, ahí de introductoria, más o menos cómo se va pronunciando la, estas contracciones, okay? Y cómo saber cómo pronunciar estas tres, okay? Again, we're, were, and were. Were. Where, where, where. Excellent, good job. Okay, and uh, well, as I was telling you uh, some days ago, we have the contraction for AM. Entonces, este AM um, tiene varias pronunciaciones, tiene algunas diferencias ahí de pronunciación. Por ejemplo, les decía acá cómo hacíamos la contracción, el sonido de esa contracción. Yo soy, yo estoy. I'm era una de ellas. Y lo traga, um, 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 right? Okay, so let's see. We continue. 
we're gonna be checking today the alphabet. Okay, so I think this is going to be easy. It's a super chivo, ya van a ver. Vamos a poner unos listening por ahí para que vayan practicando listening también. Para que no se me vayan a aburrir. Okay, so let's see, let's start. Um, related to this, we're going to be checking the alphabet, names, given name, last name, surname, and family name. So we're going to check why is that. Yeah, I want to check out the case. So now, look, we're going to listen to um, the pronunciation of the alphabet, and uh, you're going to be listening to the pronunciation of each letter of the alphabet, and then you have to repeat that, okay? So then you're going to take turns to say the alphabet, right? But let me see. We're going to open the audio. Just give me a couple of seconds. So we're going to do it together, but I'm going to play an audio. Yo voy a poner un listening por ahí también. Pero eh, igual lo vamos a ir haciendo juntos. Okay. Mientras carga eso, lo empezamos a hacer nosotros. Okay, let's see. Todo ven ahí la pantalla del alphabet? So the alphabet? Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. Good. Let's see. So listen, we're going to start with uh, the first one. A, listen, A. 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 Mm -hmm. A. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have the first one, A. The next one, B. Okay, B. 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 And then what's the next one? How do you pronounce this one? C. B. Okay. C. B. 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 G. B. 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 G. B. 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 G. B. 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 J, okay, J, A, A, L, 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 M, okay, M, N, N, okay, so it's clear, O, O, okay, O, C, C, U, 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 Okay, okay. So now let's check some of them. Vamos a checando algunas de esas que a veces se escuchan parecidas. So for example, let's check um some of the I'm gonna pronounce that once and then you try to identify which of them sound alike or similar. A B B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V V W or W X Y and Z Z. Okay, which are which of these sounds sound? Alike or similar. ¿Cuáles de estos suenan similares? M and mm -hmm. So we have B and B. B and B. <laughs> B, &B. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's why, right? So you said M and N, right? Yeah. Okay. So not is this. M, M, M. Look, look at me. Mm -hmm. M. M, like mom, mother, 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 uh, mom, okay, mom. Um, the next one is N, N, N. So look at my lips. M. We don't close our lips. N, N, N. Not at all. N, N, N. N. Okay, so we have N, N, N. Okay, again, M, 
M M N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N B P B B Oh yeah B so we have B and B B okay so one is labial and the other one is uh, it generates a vibration B B look at this B like M B B N V V V B V yeah do you, do you listen to that? Como que ese celular está vibrando. Okay. Uh, there's a vibration in there. Hay una vibración ahí. V, V, right? V, this one. Aquí, en este caso de la V. V. Oh, like in victory. Like in victim. Like in, let's say, violet. V, right? V. And another one. Is there any other? Hay alguna otra? So what do you think? Tell me. Any other that you want to compare? Okay. The B. Same. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's basically the same. It's realmente muy parecido al caso que estamos viendo anteriormente. This is, uh, yes, in Spanish. C, right? C. And in here you have a Z with a vibration. Z, Z. Um, Z, okay? Z. Hay, si ¿sí? recuerden que hay una vibración ahí con la Z, Z. V. Y con la V, V. V, V, N, Z, Z. Ajá, this is very important when it comes to uh, the spelling of names and last names. Entonces es muy importante cuando se está haciendo los deletreos, por ejemplo, de los, de, de los nombres y apellidos. O, eh, well, let's imagine, if you're going to work in a call center, maybe you're going to need this, you're going to be um, pronounced the, the, the alphabet as clear as possible, right? Okay, or uh, have the idea of that sounds uh, clear, right? Okay, Z, Z, and Z. Okay, C and Z. Another one? Algún otro, chicos, that you want to check? S and X. Um, S and X. Okay. So, let's see. S. What's so S? Or it sounds like S at the beginning of a, sound, of a word. Entonces, acá la pronunciamos como S. Pero, uh, por ejemplo, cuando yeah, yeah, inicia yeah. una palabra con con S, usualmente solo hacemos el sonido student, for example, student, student, school, school, no decimos e, school, decimos school, 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 right, school, school, and um, this is X, X, right, X. Yeah, yeah. No sé, I don't know which one. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, any other that you want to check? Yeah. Okay, the vowels. How about the vowels? So they cause troubles. Yeah. A, E, and I. Look at this. I o. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, O. Okay. But, you. uh huh. Oh, and uh, you. Yes. Okay, so the ones that cause trouble are this one, A, I, and E. Estas tres, a veces se tienen que confundir mucho. Okay, A, like this, A, A, so keep in mind that sound, A. Uh, then you have I, como que se tienen dolor ahí, no sé, de los 30 sin que ya duele. <laughs> I. I and E, but no, that's the first time I've been doing And E, A, I, and E. Okay, no, E, I, 
A I N E, A I N E, A I E, A I E, right? A I N E. Let's see, we have some others. ¿Cuáles otras tenemos? Do uh, you know any other? Okay. Okay, how about this one? G N J, okay? G and J. G, this is G. And uh, that's J. Okay. J. Um, how do you pronounce this one? R. 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 For example, my, let's see. My favorite color is red. How do you spell red? R. E. D. Okay. R. E. D. How do you spell red? R. E. D. R. 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 R.